Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to record your screen on any Mac computer. It could work on laptops, it could work on iMacs, Mac Pros. It's all the same process. I'll show you two free options that I've used for a very long time. And recently I just upgraded to a hardware option where I just plug my Mac into it and it lets me multi-switch between my computer and to the camera, to the overhead camera, to my phone. Really, really cool. So if you want an advanced option, check it out at the end of the video. Let's jump in here. So the very first option is free and it comes with your Mac. You don't have to download anything, okay? And it's up here if you search for it. It's called QuickTime, QuickTime Player. Just go ahead and open that up. And I'm just gonna cancel this. This typically pops up, but you don't need it right now. So you have QuickTime Player now right on top. All you have to do is click this right here and go to File and then press new screen recording. This also records movie recording, which gets access to your webcam, but this is what we want. Okay, let's go ahead and select that. And you see it creates this dash around my screen. It's telling me this is what it's going to record, which is my entire screen, but I could change that and select the window or even a portion of my screen to record. In this case, I'm gonna record my entire screen. Let me go to the options to show you something here. I'm using QuickTime Player and it's gonna save it to QuickTime Player, but I could save it directly to my desktop after the recording is done. I typically do this though, so I could save it later. It gives you a five second timer, which is a countdown timer, but this is really, really important. The microphone that you choose here makes a big difference on your sound quality. Right now it's set to built-in mic, which is terrible. It's not gonna sound good, but this right here, the Shure MV7, is the best microphone, USB microphone, that you could buy, okay? It's about $250 as I'm recording this, but it's well, well worth it. This is my fourth USB mic, and I kept improving them, okay? Before that, I had the Snowball and the Yeti, okay? That's a different type of mic that's a little bit cheaper. This actually has Bluetooth and XLR. And it's over here, if you could see it right here, this is the mic, so I would set it up like this, and then I would do my screen recording. Okay, I'm, do, I'm using a different mic right now in front of me, but this is when I do my screen recordings that are just dedicated to the computer. So make sure you select one of those mics. If you don't have one, you'll just be using the built-in microphone. I'll put a link in the description to this one if you wanna just get it from Amazon. Okay, and then you have some other options like showing your mouse clicks. And then to record, you just press record right here. You get that five second countdown if you set it to five seconds. And then just like that, I'm recording. And the way I know I'm recording is I get this stop sign right here. You see the stop icon? This is gonna stop the recording if I click it. So right now, whatever I'm doing, my mouse movements are all getting recorded. If I press this, it's gonna stop it and open it up in QuickTime here. Okay, so this is a preview. I didn't do anything, but I moved my mouse around. You can see that. So now I could go ahead to file and then go ahead and save this, okay? and then save it to my desktop and I'm all set. Just like that, it's gonna save to my desktop. Looks like I already have one, so I'll name this something else. And just like that, it's saved to my desktop and I could close this. Okay, there's the screen recording that we just did. Okay, with sound. Now the next one I really like because it also lets you easily record any device, any screen, any phone, and it could even stream. Okay, it's very popular in the streaming world. The application is called OBS and it's completely free. Let me show you. And you could download OBS here for your PC as well, for Mac and Linux. In this case, we want Mac. And then you will select it, download it. Uh, again, it's completely free and it lets you basically do a lot more than what QuickTime lets you do. Let's go to it right now since I have it opened up. OBS, this one. Okay, so this is it right now. I'm not recording anything, but as you can see, I'm, I record my iPad this way, my iPhone, all kinds of different things that I record using this. Right now, I'm gonna press the plus sign here, and to record your screen, you wanna choose display capture. If you choose this, okay, this is gonna be my screen, Mac screen, I'll name it that, and I'll press okay. And just like that, it's gonna bring this up. Right now, I'm just gonna press okay on this. This is my Mac screen. If I select it, I can make sure I actually extend it out to fit this whole black screen. There you go. Now, over here, if I press start recording, it's going to record my screen, or I could go to settings right now and change a couple of things, okay? So typically I go to the video tab and change my resolution based on my screen. 
you probably have 1920 by 1080 if you don't have a 4K screen like I have on the iMac, but you have all these options, frame rate. This is mine, but I know most people record 1920 by 1080 or 1080p as it's called, okay? So that's your settings. Then again, I picked the microphone over here to be my microphone, which you could change your microphone under audio mixer here. So you have an option here for adding different microphones. So if I go to property, you could see that my default microphone is going to change to this one, which is what I have selected. And you could see the bars now. Okay, so the microphone that was behind me that I showed you is now active. So if I press record, it's gonna record my screen over here. Let me just do that, press record. And if I go back to my other screen, it's going to let me record the screen and record the sound, okay? And then when I'm done, I'll press stop. And in this case, I had this set to just save to my desktop. So let me go to my desktop here. And this is the screen recording right over here, okay? If I press the space bar, you can see the screen recording we just did. And from OBS to the website, back to OBS, again, with sound, okay? And finally, I'm gonna show you a very, very advanced option that I know most people are not gonna need, but just in case, or in the future, you wanna take it to the next level. The way I've been recording this whole video is I could go from my camera to my computer, back to my camera really, really fast, right? I don't have to open up QuickTime or OBS or edit them together. This just edited it for me live, just from going from my face to that. And I could also do this. I could turn on the monitor of the computer and then put myself like this, okay? And I could record my phone this way, a ton of different things, but let me show you how I'm doing this right now. I'm using this switcher from this company called Blackmagic, okay? So it lets me record right onto a hard drive right there. You see that hard drive right there? It's just recording right onto that hard drive. And my computer is plugged in here with the HDMI in the back. I have other things plugged in like this camera that you're seeing right here, my main camera, my phone. It's all plugged in sometimes using different dongles over here. But this is really, really handy. So if I go to camera one, for example, now I'm on camera one, this is camera two, this is my computer, and typically uh, the third one here is my phone, which I don't have plugged in right now, okay? So that's how I would do a recording if you want it all switched like that between your camera and have picture in picture. It's really a very, very powerful option. I'll put a link to that switcher in the description so you can read more about it, see how much it costs at the time that you're checking it out. The hard drive also you have to buy if you want to record this way, but most people use that to record or stream right on the computer too. It has the power to do that really incredible, powerful switcher for recording whatever device here that you have uh, laying around, it really just uses HDMI connections, which your Mac could send out using different dongles and things like that if it doesn't have an HDMI output, okay? So I know that's an advanced option. QuickTime, if you wanna just have a free, easy option. OBS, if you wanna take it a little bit further. The Shure microphone, if you want better sound quality. And the Blackmagic switcher, if you really wanna take it to the next level and have a setup like I have going on here. But I've made over a thousand videos and I didn't get this set up until video number 800 or so, okay? Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please give it a thumbs up. Check everything out in the description to learn more and I'll see you next time.